How's it going? Today we learn about reflections in the Blender game engine. So, thanks for joining me today. As I've already mentioned, we look at the technique that went behind this creating this scene right here. Um, little disclaimer, first though, this technique only works for planar reflections. For complex objects, you will need to use simple cube maps or real-time cubes maps is what they are called. So I've prepared this little scene right here, just some lighting and some walls and the monkey and the, and the cube on the ground, so we just can um, showcase the reflections a little bit better. So what we'll do is we create a new material for our ground plane and we call this mirror with a capital M. It's important that we remember this name later on because we will use it. Then we create a new image texture and we call it reflect. And this image can be basically everything that you want. In this situation, I will just use a pre-made texture by Atomic Skill, which works quite nice for showcasing the what we're doing here. So next up, we go into the edit mode and unwrap our plane. Now we go to the game properties and add a new property, and we call this property material. This property is gonna be a string, and the text is gonna be mirror with a capital M. So it's gonna be basically the same name of your material here. That's really important for it to work. Then we put in an always sensor with connected with a Python controller with true level triggering on. And then we open the text editor and implement our script, which will be linked in the description. So now we have to implement that script in our controller and then we're good to go. But as you can see now, the reflections are quite stretched and don't look good. So in order to fix that, as one simple thing that we have to do. We go to the UV image editor and in this settings here we have to mirror our UVs around the x-axis. So now the text is mirrored and not really readable anymore. But if we check that out in game now, you can see the reflections are correct. And for quick demonstration, I'm adding a rigid body to this cube here. So we can see that these reflections are actually real-time reflections. Quite nice, right? So the next step will be to change our material for the ground to make it look more realistic and less like a complete mirror. In order to do that we move the reflection texture down two layers, two texture layers, and now what we have to do is we have to change our Python script. Because if you play it now you can see it's not working anymore and that's because the text channel in this script is set to zero. But since we moved our reflection texture down two channels, we also have to adjust um, the text channel value here. So now the new text channel value should be two. So now we have two um, extra texture slots available that we can use for other textures. And as you can see, it's working again. So now I'll add two extra textures, a basic diffuse texture with just some tiles and we disable our mirror here we can see our texture and we're gonna call this tiles and I'm also changing this to multiply so we can adjust the color of those tiles and I will also change the size of those to two so we have double the amount of tiles on our ground and we're gonna add in the normal map as well for those tiles in the image sampling we're gonna set normal map and activate the normal input instead of color and also change the size as well. And the next thing will be to turn this reflection texture back on but in the settings, in the influence settings, turn the color of the texture down to zero. And this is very important in order for it to work later on. So now we click this little button right here next to a material and this turns the material into a node material. Then we're gonna select our mirror in here and we basically have our material back as it was. So we can change the color here as well. Let's change it to a nice looking green kind of tone. And if we play it now, you can see the mirror is not there. So we have to add it back on. And for that, we need a geometry node. And uh, we also need a texture node as well. And in this texture node, we're gonna add our reflect texture in here. Then we're gonna plug this into the UV output of the geometry node. And now if we get a color mix node and mix those two colors together, you can see that our mirror is back. And then we can now mix our mirror with our material to get nice reflections as well as our textures to work. 
But now we can also make this look a little bit more funky and special. And therefore, we can use another texture, which is basically a black and white texture, to influence the factor at which those two textures are mixed together. We also need a color ramp to adjust the settings a bit more later on. So as you can see now we get some places where there is complete mirroring and we get other places where there is this tiles texture still. And that can give you a quite nice result if you get the textures right and will make your scene look a lot cooler. But for now we're gonna disconnect this, this is just a little trick that I wanted to show you. So how do we blur those textures now though? Um, first of all we're gonna rename the normal map. And we're gonna add in a new texture and this is simply a noise texture, a normal map of some noise, as you can see here. And we're gonna disable the influence completely and we're gonna call this noise. And then we're also gonna change this to normal map. Then in our node editor we're gonna add another texture input and we're gonna select our, norm our noise texture. We're gonna connect this with the UV and in order to increase the tiling size, which is fairly low at the moment as you can see, we are going to add in a mapping node. right? And in our scale settings we can now up the scale of this normal map to making it really really small, because this is important to make it look good later on. So now we will connect our inputs again and now we come to the fun part because now it's going to be about blurring our reflections. So we're going to add a color mix node and we're going to set it to add. And then we're going to get the normal output of our texture and plug this in here. And plug the color output into our vector of our mirror texture. And if you check that out now, with our increasing our factor, we can increase the blur of this text. With that we also increase how much our mirror is getting blurred. Very cool, right? So we can adjust those settings, play around with those a little bit more, but there's another cool thing that we can do. And this is just simply basically copying this whole setting and we can add another normal map that should distort our reflection. And this is gonna be our tiles normal map that we also want to distort our reflection. So for this we're gonna also turn down the scale of the mapping and we're simply I'm gonna add this texture over there as well and if you check this out now we can see that our tiling pattern also comes through here through the mirror and this makes it look a lot more believable. If you check that out now it looks quite amazing actually quite realistic if you ask me. So that's basically how you can do that and you mix those materials together and yeah there's all kinds of settings that you can change here. So now I'm quickly going in again and adding this, um, adding the texture as factor influence again to make it look a little bit more special and make the textures look a little bit more gritty and, and give it some randomness. If we check that out now, you can see it looks a lot cooler, but we still have to adjust the color ramp a bit more. So basically making those two pins a bit more um, grayish gives you a little less strong trans transition between those materials and makes it look a lot nicer. So if you're pleased with your settings it's time to move along because there's one problem that we might that we also have to solve now because duplicating this object won't work. It will distort your mirrors as you can see right here. So simply duplicating our planes to create another mirror isn't possible. It's also not possible to do that in edit mode, so there's gotta be another technique to fix that. And yeah, there is, and that's actually what we're gonna do now. So to do that, um, copy the plane and press that little button next to the name of your material and call it mirror2. Then in our node material we'll also select mirror2 right here. Then we go to the texture settings and also press the button next to our reflect texture. So let's see if that's working now. No, it isn't. Okay, that's because we have to also change our property here and give it the same name as our new material, which is mirror 2. So it's still not working, but what we do is we add another reflect image texture, um, which is just the same one as before, but with another color. 
But there has been one problem. If we select our material, we will see that it still has the reflect one texture which is which it is using and this is bad because we have to use our reflect two texture in our node material so we have to change it there and now as you can see we have two individual reflections which are both working so now again it's just a process of changing your materials adjusting your settings in the node editor and simply creating the um, perfect materials that you want for your game. Thank you everybody for watching this. I hope you really enjoyed this tutorial and yeah, um, leave a like if you did. Subscribe to my channel and I hope to see you next time. Bye!